of the scribes was to simply submit that the Christ was merely a man and so our Lord as he always does seeks to bring the chosen people to a deeper and more profound understanding that in the man Jesus Christ they are also standing before the Lord as was prophesied to David and ultimately that the Lord would come in order to place all his enemies under his feet and of course this is a reference to our Lord's triumph over the human heart but our Lord came to triumph not in the way of worldly leaders as the Pharisees and the scribes would have wished the Messiah to do but he came to triumph over the hearts of men by the way of love and ultimately that is what would, would cause the chosen people of old to reject the Messiah as the Messiah it was our Lord's doctrine on suffering and that the Lord of all Lords came in order to suffer for the sake of mankind to, to literally place all his enemies under his feet, that is, to conquer all souls by the love he would show on Mount Calvary, sacrificing that sacred humanity for our sins so that we all may be reconciled with the Father. And in this day and age, perhaps the most important line from today's gospel is that the great crowd heard this with delight, that is, they heard the teachings of our Lord with delight because he spoke plainly and he spoke openly. He spoke plainly of the love of God the Father for mankind. He spoke plainly of his mission to offer himself as a sacrifice for the sins of mankind. And it is most important for us to realize this in our day and in our age in which there are so many doctrines about that would seek to rend from us the most precious of all the gifts we have received, that is, the faith of Jesus Christ. For often it is in an age that is consumed with the pursuit of material pleasures that often we do not associate the very fact that the God we believe in is the God we cannot see because he is a pure spirit. And so, in one sense, there is no sense gratification for us in, in claiming to be followers of Jesus Christ, but there is a higher gratification for we are to see through the eyes of faith that this same Christ truly was the Lord, that he was not merely a son of David by way of natural origins, but he was the son of David by the miraculous conception uh, that would bring about the incarnation in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary and more importantly that he was the son of God and so he was truly God and truly man and so it is that God truly touched the human family by becoming a member of that family in order to, to reclaim that family for his kingdom by the love he would show on Mount Calvary for our sins and so let us strive always to live in the truth of this doctrine that we can go about with complete confidence and complete trust for the Lord has proven himself to be precisely who he said he was and especially he has proven this in overcoming death by his resurrection and that if we live our lives uh, in, this, in this life in accord with the doctrine of the cross then we truly will become children of the resurrection but let us have none of the modern era that would reduce that to an excuse to go about eating, drinking, and be, being merry, for tomorrow we die. We are truly a resurrection people, but the resurrection always comes after the crucifixion. And so it is the mission of all the members of the mystical body to cooperate with the suffering of Jesus Christ so that we may make up, as St. Paul tells us, what was lacking in his suffering and what was lacking in the suffering of Jesus Christ was our human cooperation, our entering into that mystery so that we may demonstrate what the Lord first demonstrated for us, that true love, profound love, is sacrificial love. And if the Lord, who gained nothing by the sacrifice, was willing to die for our sins, then we must surely be ready to die for love of him who is willing to die for love of us. And so, let us truly, as the Lord would teach, believe that the most profound uh, gift we can have in this life, the most precious jewel, the most precious prize, is the life of the cross. For by it we show a profound love because we persevere in the love of God despite the fact that we suffer. And indeed, 
we know because the Lord taught us so that if we truly embrace this life of suffering so contrary to our modern age, so contrary to our modern life, if we truly embrace this life of suffering, we truly are divinized, as St. Augustine would tell us. God became man in order that man may become God. And ultimately man shows that by imitating the love that God showed for man on Mount Calvary. And so let us truly believe that the greatest joy in this life is to cooperate in the mission of the Savior, that mission that he came in order to claim all souls for the kingdom of Christ. And the one thing he desired, as he would constantly remind the apostles, the one thing he desired was to undergo his, his, his passion and his death for our sake, so that we, by his grace, may be willing to undergo our passion and our death for his sake so that it can truly be said at the end of our lives we have made up what was lacking in the suffering of Christ in our own sufferings and hence we too in imitation of the master will die in the hands of her who alone can present us to the eternal father for it is only to die in the hands of the mother of God that the eternal father can recognize us as his adopted children and so let us strive always and everywhere not to give in to the modern a mantra of pleasure, 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 but let us try to give in to the divine mantra of suffering, 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 or as Our Lady said to St. Bernadette at Lourdes, penance, 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 because penance is the sign of someone who truly knows the mystery of love, who truly knows the mystery of sacrifice, because they know the mystery of what our Lord speaks today, that he is not merely the son of David by biological generation, but he is the son of David in the human family by a miraculous conception, and he is the son of God the Father from all eternity. And so he truly is both God and man, and in his sacred humanity, he offers that most precious offering to the Father in order that mankind may be saved and every man may have the opportunity to praise their good God for all eternity in heaven.